In this video, we will learn how to round off a number to the nearest 100 or 1000. We start with 100 first. If I give you any number, let's say for example 378, and I tell you, can you round off this number to the nearest 100? What I mean is, you have to find out which is the closest 100 number, which is to 378. Now you know that we have 300 okay and we have 400 and 378 comes between these two numbers right the thing you need to do is you need to find out which is it the closest hundred number to this and how do you do this when it was 10 I know I told you about the counting thing but it becomes a little difficult over here so how many digits or how many numbers is 378 ahead of 300 you can simply subtract 300 from 378 and you will find out that 378 is 78 ahead of 300 but if I talk about 400 it is only because 378 is less than this it is only 22 numbers away from 400 so definitely it is closer to 400 right because 22 is less than 78 from the perspective of rounding off to the closest hundred, the rule is that if the distance of a given number lies between 1 to 49 from one of the hundreds, okay, what that means is in this case, if the number is between 301 to 349, it is going to be closer to the preceding hundred. Whereas, if the number or the distance is between 51 to 99 and how does this come obviously between 300 and 400 what you will have is 301 to 399 so if in the end like we have 78 over here if in the end you have 51 to 99 any of these digits then this is closest to the next hundred or 400 in this case but what about 50 now 50 lies equally from 300 and 400 so let's say in this case if the number was 350 the distance of 350 from 300 is how much 50 the distance of 350 from 400 is again 50 it is equidistance but the practice is that this 50 is actually included here and therefore it is closest to 400 or it is considered to be closer to 400 or in other words, it's rounded off to the next digit. So let's say, for example, if I take two questions, I tell you 479, which is the closest 100. The end two numbers is 79. 79 falls in the next one. So we round it off to the next 100, which is 500. But if I talk about 448, 48 is what? It is lying between 1 to 49, right? Therefore, it has to be rounded off to the preceding one which is 400 and that's the way the rounding off works for 100 now let's talk about 1000 the rules remain the same so let's say you have 4000 you have 4001 you have 4999 and then you have 5000 if I pick any number between this let's say I pick two of them 4 3 Two nine, and I pick up four eight two nine. To find out whether the number is closer to the preceding thousand or the next thousand, we look at the last three digits. If the value of these three digits, which in the present case is three twenty nine, lies between one to four ninety nine, it is rounded off to the preceding thousand. Same logic which we discussed here. I am not getting into it again. But if this last three digit lies between 501 to 999, it is rounded off to the next thousand. And just like we discussed earlier for 50, for 500, let's say for example if the number is 4500, it is equidistant from 4000 and 5000, but the rounding off is done to the next thousand. Right? So 4329, 
329 is the last number. It lies between 1 to 499. So the rounding off has to be done to 4000. 4829, 829 lies between these two numbers. Therefore, the rounding off has to be done to the next thousand. Right? I hope you would have got the concept. Thank you for being with us today.